Hi everyone, welcome back to another game. Here we have Alpha Zero playing white and Stockfish 8 playing black. And we join the game at move 80 here. Uh, it's move 80 and white is to play. Now this position is a draw, it's been, it's blocked up. And it's been a draw for a long time. White and black have just been maneuvering around here for a while and not really achieving anything. Uh, note that all of white's pawns are on opposite colour squares to black's bishop, so black really is going to struggle to attack them. And black's weaknesses, such as a6 and g6, you know, the white knight really can't get to them. For example, the white knight would love to be on the square c5, but there's no way for the knight to get there without being traded off by the black bishop, which would just be a completely drawn king and pawn endgame. And here, white is to play, and you want to prevent the king coming to this square on c4. So if I was white here, I would just play the move king to c3. And now black just can't make progress. Uh, the kings just prevent each other from moving forward. And the game would be a draw. But uh, Alpha Zero in this position played a pretty inexplicable move. Alpha Zero played knight to c1. Which is really weird because it allows black to bring the king to c4 and all of a sudden this b4 pawn is under quite a bit of pressure and white has to play this awkward move king to a3 of course if you take the bishop off this is just a completely winning end game for black and here after king to a3 this is quite an interesting position because black has definitely made progress but at the same time they must be careful about this white knight coming to c5 and picking off the a6 pawn and so here, uh, Stockfish played a move which I think deserves two exclamation marks. Bishop to f1, which is a really fantastic move in my opinion. Um, and to explain this, we need to look at a couple things here. After bishop f1, it's going to take black one, two, three moves to reach this f2 pawn and take it off, presuming white moves the knight. Now, after king to a3, instead of bishop f1, a very, very tempting move for black to play is king to c3, which looks faster than bishop f1 to reach the f2 pawn. But now the problem is white would play this move knight to b3, which prevents king to a2, uh, d2, sorry, and also gets ready to bring the knight to c5. So therefore, black would have to play king to c2, and after knight to c5, uh, king to d2, knight takes a6, king to e2, knight to c7, king takes f2, a6. You can see that uh, white's winning this uh, pawn race and is going to the queen first. So therefore, well, what's the point? Well, if we go back to this position after king to a3 and we count the moves, if we look after bishop to f1, the knight will move and then black will play king there, king there and king there. So it takes four moves for black to reach this pawn on f2. Now, with this king c3 line, it took one, two, three, four, five moves to reach this pawn on f2. So after some accurate calculation, we can see that bishop f1 is just a tempo faster at winning this f2 pawn than king to c3. So yeah, bishop to f1, fantastic move. The knight comes to b3. King d3, knight c5 check, king e2, knight takes a6, king takes f2, knight c7, king takes e3, a6, king f2, a7, e3, and white does queen first. But after a8 equals queen, e2, black is ready to queen on the next move. Now, first of all, well, there's two ways for white to prevent this, queen to a7 check and queen to e8. Uh, Alpha Zero played queen to a7 check. If we look at queen to e8 here, well, black will promote. And after queen takes e1, king takes e1, this is definitely a winning endgame for black because this b5 pawn is defended by the bishop and these f4 and h4 pawns are really weak and black's just going to go over and scoop those up. So therefore, after e2, not queen to e8, but queen to a7 check. Black plays king to f3, and now the only move to prevent, uh, or the only two moves that stop black from promoting straight away are queen b7 and queen a8 check. And this is actually quite clever here by uh, Stockfish. 
If queen to b7 check, well, king to g3 would be played, and white's not got any more checks, and also white cannot actually prevent this pawn from moving forward and promoting. So therefore, queen to a8 check, not queen to b7 check. But now black plays king to g3. And the only move here for white to stop the pawn promoting is queen to e8. But now king to f2. And all of a sudden, black, uh, white's not got any more checks. And this pawn is going to promote. And I think this was really nicely done by Stockfish. And the problem is for white, well, after, let's say, queen takes b5. Well, this was played in the game. Black promotes. And now queen to e5, queen c1 check. And in general, we can see that the problem for white is the black king is just so close to these weaknesses on f4 and h4. And black actually just seems to be winning here. It almost seems that alpha zero got out calculated by Stockfish. Uh, knight to d5 was played. Black scooped up the pawn on h4. Knight to c3. Black brings the king back, ready to take the pawn on f4. And now knight e2 check, which I think is sort of the equivalent of just resigning here. Because after bishop takes e2, queen takes e2, h4, we can see that black can take f4 at any time. And black's just going to win this promotion uh, race. Queen to d3 check, king to g4, queen to e2 check. Black wins this pawn, and black's just up two pawns here. B5, uh, queen a1 check, king b4 check, king a5, queen a7, king b4, h3, queen f1 check, king g3, queen d3 check, king h4 check. And yeah, it doesn't really need any more comment. It's just white resisting, but the game is just winning for black. And in this position, white resigned. So yeah, it's a very well played game by a very well calculated line by Stockfish and Alpha Zero didn't need to go for that move um, Knight C1. They could have just played King C3 and it would have been a draw. So it seems Alpha Zero maybe pushed too hard a bit. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.